Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Software Testing by MKT. As a part of this video, I'm going to talk about test ng annotations. Though we have so many test ng annotations as a part of this video, I'm going to show you some test ng annotations. So let's get started. So guys, before I talk about and show you practically about the annotations, I want to show you the syntax of different annotations in the test engine. So let's have a look. The syntax of any annotations that we have in the test engine is there will be a class and the class name, let's say one, start of the class, end of the class, and here comes your annotation. There are so many test ng annotations we have, which I have already discussed in your previous video. Hope you guys have checked it. And the syntax is you have the annotation. Now you have to write the method name here. Now your method name can be anything. So this is how the syntax of any annotations that you have in the test ng, right? but I'm going to make it a little clean. Instead of writing here method name, let me add it one practical method name, right? So I'm going to add the method name as public static void and launch. That's it. This is how the syntax of any annotations that you have in the test engine. This is about just one at the rate of test. What if, if you have multiple annotations present in a single class, right? Let me show you. So let me take you to my Eclipse. Whatever is open, let me first close it. And uh, let me do everything in the Java project as of now. So what I'm doing in my Java project, there is a package already present called as test ngmkt. I'm going to create a class here. I'm going to give the class name as one. And here, I'm going to have some annotations, right? Which annotation? As I have said before, the first annotation we have is called as before suit or before suite. And so this is your annotation. Now have its method. So the method is public static void and since it is before suit just to not get confused later i'm going to add it as before suit only right sorry before suit only this is done but there is a compilation issue the reason compilation issue is present because you have not yet imported it once you import it there we go. You have created a class and one annotation is ready. Guys, out of a lot of annotations that you have in the test ng, the one and the most famous and the worst that is mandatory annotation that you have in the test ng is called as at the rate of test. Why at the rate of test is one of the most famous or most important annotation that you have in the test ng is guys because it almost act as a main method here, right? The, the main method that you have in Java, right? I mean, imagine a class in the Java program without main method. I'm pretty sure you know, if you just create a class in Java concept, let me do it for you. I'm going to create a class name as Manish without main method. I'm going to do the right click run as, I'm not getting the option as run as Java application here. But the moment I add the main method and save it, now you can see I'm getting run as Java application here, right? Just like this, if you come back here in the test ng concept, just because you have added just before suit, if you do the right click here and go to run as, you are not getting the option of running the test, right? But just, just after you add the at the rate of test annotation. Just after adding it, 
and definitely after importing it, now you will definitely get the option of test ng test, right? Guys, always remember one thing in test ng concept, one at the rate of test indicates one test case. One at the rate of test indicates one test case. You can ask me, Manish, can we also have two at the rate of test? Yes, you can have it. If you add two at the rate of test, that means one at the rate of test indicates one test case, two at the rate of test indicates two test cases. Okay, as of now, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to have just one at the rate of test for you. So as of now, I have added one before suit, one at the rate of test. And I'm going to show you all annotations that you have. One is before shoot. After before shoot, what comes? Before test. So before test. Make sure you import this. So you are done with before shoot, before test. Now, before class. This is before class. Try to import it. You're done with before shoot, before test, before class, and now finally, before method. Try to import it. Now you have added all four of before. Now you also make sure that you add all for after. So just replace all before with after and make it as after shoot. This one as after test this one as after class this one as after method right now you have added total of nine annotations but make sure that you are importing each one of them so import this here import this here also import this one and import this one too. You got it. You have added, added each one of them, right? Guys, just because I have added here nine annotations total, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just because I have added total of nine annotations does not mean that I am running nine test cases. No, it will be just one test case right because i have already explained you that only one at the rate of test means one test case right just because i have one at the rate of test i got total of just single test right and how to generate a report for this watch out all you have to do is uh, just do the right click here refresh it go to the test output click on emailable report once you click on emailable report, you will get the report here, right? Now, this report is letting you know that how many test cases were actually present. So total test case was, was just one and uh, it had one method called as test case one. And how many are pass? One is pass. How many are skip? Zero were skip. How many are retried? Zero were retried. How many are failed? Zero are failed. How much time it took in overall? So it took 56 millisecond of time. And yes, you got your report, right? So this is how your different annotations in the test ng looks like. But guys, this is not the end of your annotation concept in the test ng. This is just a beginning, guys, in the test ng. Test NG is not a small topic. It's a very big topic. Slowly, we will cover more topics of the test NG, right? In the next video, I'm going to show you that in which order this test NG annotations get executed, right? Till then, thank you. I hope you liked this video. In case yes, subscribe to my channel, Software Testing Bank KT, and please share this video with your needy friends. See you soon.